If you want to produce a great video, you're going to need great sounding audio along with your picture. In this video, we'll show you some techniques for hiding microphones in and around the set in order to capture that hard to reach dialogue. The term plant mic refers to any microphone that is planted in place, as opposed to being boomed or worn on the body. It could be a shotgun mic that is clamped just outside a frame, such as behind a door jam or suspended above the frame line in a corner of the set. We can also hide tiny lavaliers on walls or behind tabletop props in order to grab dialogue from areas in the set that might be difficult or impossible to boom. Unlike a boom mic, where the microphone follows the actors, a plant mic requires that the actors travel to the mic. Any type of microphone can be used as a plant mic. It all depends on what you're trying to record. For dialogue, a mic with a lot of reach and sensitivity would be ideal. For loud sound effects, a simple dynamic handheld with short range and low sensitivity might be the ticket. The thing to remember about hiding mics within the set is that the mic only has to be invisible to the camera lens, not the actors or the crew. It's easy to stage a mic behind a prop or set piece in order to block the view from the camera. For example, an ottoman or a magazine rack would make it easy to rig a mic or pick up dialogue from an actor in a reading chair downstage where a boom mic might be out of the question. In a dining room, where the chandelier prevents overhead booming, a shotgun mic could simply be hidden to the side of the actor below table height. The skirt of the tablecloth blocks the mic from being seen by the camera. Imagine a boudoir with lots of mirrors that would reveal the boom pole from anywhere in the room. No one is going to pay attention to a dressing chair with the flimsy blouse or sweater casually draped from the backrest, serving as a tent to conceal your shotgun mic. Shooting wide in a cavernous hotel lobby can be daunting, especially near those shiny elevator doors. Notice, however, those large potted fake trees that seem to linger near most of the pillars. Drag one of those over to the bank of elevators, and now you have the means to get a mic within a couple of feet of those elevator doors to cover your actors entering and exiting. It's a late night at the beach. Your actors are circled around the fire pit. A shallow pit dug in the sand conceals your mic, perhaps helped by the presence of a small rock. Outdoors, XLR cables can be hidden within a shallow trench in the ground that you could scrape out with a screwdriver. Indoors, use a small area rug or tape your cables along patterns or lines in the tile. Using a narrow strip of appropriately colored tape helps a lot. Because of their miniature size, it's really easy to hide lavaliers pretty much anywhere on any set. They can be mounted behind anything as thin as a pencil or concealed within the narrow strip of shadow cast by framed artwork or wall decor. Let me give you some examples. The scene is a small restaurant. Our principals are seated at the table in the foreground, simple to boom. But towards the back of the restaurant is another table with characters that we want to hear. Booming is out of the question since the scope of the background is way too wide. A lavalier taped to any object on that table will give us the pickup that we need. Or why not really turn the plant mic into a plant mic and hide it in a flower centerpiece? Plant mics are great to use along lit walls where boom shadows would be a problem or deep in the set where the frame gets too wide. Here are a couple of things to pay attention to when using lavaliers as plant mics. Don't tape the mics directly to walls, furniture, or the sides of props. Footsteps or any physical contact may create vibrations that easily carry along those hard surfaces and transmit straight into your microphone. Instead, Float your lavalier in a small shock mount that will isolate the capsule from these distractions. Just make a simple ring out of some cloth camera or gaffer's tape and use that to attach your mic. Add a small strip of tape lower down for strain relief and to tidy up the cable and you're rigged. Another thing to be aware of is the sensitivity and potential reach of your specific lavalier. Some lavaliers, such as this AT803, emphasize the voice of the actor at close range while holding back as much background noise as possible. This lav could work as a plant mic if the actor is able to lean in and speak closely into the mic, such as with a prop telephone or intercom. Other lavs, such as the AT899 or the MT830, allow the actors to sound more natural as if they were being boomed, but at the cost of being more sensitive to distant noises. When used as plant mics, they can reach up to four or five feet away and still provide broadcast quality dialogue. For most applications, choose lavaliers that still sound bright and clear at least a few feet away. Most of the time, we go with omnidirectional patterns in order to hear dialogue from multiple characters who might be on either side of the mic. 
Other times, the use of a directional lavalier, such as the AT898, allows you to treat this mic like a miniature shotgun and aim it in just one direction. By hiding the right mic in the right place, no dialogue is out of reach. In the video studio or on location, Audio-Technica has you covered.